Well, the, outsp- the outspoken Dan Hampton uh, says today, Danny, a Hall of Famer, 12 operations, says that, you know what, if he was going to be drafted this year, he would not go to the draft. He would not go up there. He'd back the NFL Player Association. Spoken like a guy who's gotten every award that you can get, and basically now, you know, you shut the barn door. I'd ask Dan Hampton this. Look, at me, look, me, look in my eyes. Like, like Robert De Niro said, said to Sharon Stone in the lawyer's office. Look in my eyes. If the Hall of Fame elected you this year and they asked you to stay away from the Hall of Fame ceremonies, Dan, would you stay away? And if you tell me yes, you're lying through your teeth, okay? You're going to miss your chance of immortality, okay, of going up there in front of all the people, the 12 knee operations, uh, the sacrifices that you made, and you're not going to go because of the Players Association. Let me put you in their shoes. I'll ask you again, would you go to the Hall of Fame ceremony if this year was your election? And if you say no, if you're shaking your head as you're watching this now, you're a liar. You're a liar. Hey, you want to know something? You've been away from the game 30-some years. I respect you. You were a great, great player. But you can't say that to the players who are going. You know what? It's misguided. Just like the players' strikes were before, this lockout's misguided by both sides. But, Danny, you forgot something. In 1987... The fans supported the Chicago Bears all those years, and you guys didn't want to work, so guess what happened? They went to the games anyway with the replacement Bears. We pay the salaries. We want to see the draftees get their day, just like I'd want to see you get your Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm just saying, brought to you by the fine village of Rosemont.